What's up you guys, Avery here, wanted to bring you guys a little bit more of a lighthearted video, kind of a just sit back and chill video with my crazy ass hair, because I just got done making a rant video that you guys may not have watched yet, so if you haven't, be sure to go and check out on the channel, I just ranted about Link Summoning, the OCG Balance and all that fun stuff, but I was sitting here on my computer and I'm like, I really need another topic to talk about, so I was like, you know what, I got it. We're going to talk about something that Robbie talked about a while back that I think he and Simo should talk about, but they haven't done it yet, so I'm going to do it. We're going to talk about the locals restroom. <laughs> now, there's many things that can happen in a locals restroom, depending on the size, shape, and viscosity of this restroom and of the player base within this locals. So, we're going to tell you the story about mine. <laughs> so, this was before like many other locals started popping up in my area. I live in the Jacksonville, Florida area, and there's like four or five locals that are in my area that are like 30 to 45 minutes away. Maybe with traffic, it's like an hour. Um, not going to say the name of this one, but let's just say that the toilet's very small, right? So it's, it's one of those toilet seats where like if you're a really, really big guy, like I'm, I'm talking Yu-Gi-Oh. Like think of a Yu-Gi-Oh regional or a YCS, and you see super huge ass fat people just walking around, just making earthquakes around the place. This toilet seat would not work for them. They would not be able to sit down because they would break that damn toilet seat with their ass cheeks. It was that small of a toilet seat, and it was literally in a closet, right? So at the time. <clears throat> that my locals had this set up. Um, you would walk in and the counter was like right when you walked in. So you would go straight and then you would turn right and basically go into their back closet, I guess. And when they had tables set up and then you would turn, walk straight, there was a wall, you turn left and it was basically a little closet and that was the bathroom. Like that was it. That was their only one. And they had another bathroom, but it was blocked off because they had a bunch of crap there. Now, whenever I go in, you just walk straight forward in the bathroom back there. So there's that. And it's kind of bigger and it's still kind of small at the same time. But anyway, besides the point, um, well, the one that was basically the closet, the door wouldn't lock. So you would have to hope to God that you shut that door and it would not pop open on you while you were taking a piss or God forbid taking a shit. <laughs> because if it did, it was basically going to open and there's a table like right there. So, you know, you're doing your thing in there and you're blowing it up. Whoever's sitting closest to it is going to feel your wrath of the dragon like the moment you open up that door. Um, now, there was a guy that stacked with Exodia way back in the day. I'm not going to say his name, but for those of you who are in the Jacksonville area and know what locals I'm talking about, and if you're a veteran in the locals area in Jacksonville, you know who I'm talking about. This dude is huge. Like, he, he could barely fit through the front door, I think. This freaking guy worked at McDonald's. I don't even know if he's still alive, but his ass worked at McDonald's. And his ass was so fat that literally... People thought that because that there was a table that, like, it went straight like this, and then it went down and just kind of centered back in the middle, like, down. So the rest of the chair, the rest of the table's like this, and then just in the middle, it's down. People thought he actually, like, sat on the table and it just, like, collapsed in on itself. And, uh, so, there's that. Now... Whether he blew up the bathroom or not, I'm pretty sure he did, but I'm sure he just kind of had to squat over it because his ass would have busted up the toilet seat. Um, needless to say, I never blew up the toilet in the locals' restroom. I can proudfully say that. Now, at regionals and stuff, do I take that brief game shit, as me and my buddies call it? Yes, absolutely. Like, you walk into the convention center, at least for Orlando regionals, people are all standing outside. The moment those judges open up those doors... At least 20 people are going to the bathroom to take that pregame shit, and by the time you walk out, I mean, it's already smelling like feces everywhere. So, yeah, it's it's pretty raw, guys. And then anytime you walk in after that, it's pretty much just smelling like shit the whole time. Luckily, there's other restrooms in the convention center, but, like, no one ever goes to those. Everyone just assumes that those are the only restrooms, so there's that. But, uh, yeah, and then... There was my other locals that is in St. Augustine, Florida, 
which only had one bathroom and that one was pretty small too but you actually kind of had some wiggle room like you could actually kind of walk around and you know think about life and all that good funzy stuff and you could actually kind of take a dump in there if you needed to the toilet was actually fairly big um, if you catch my drift <laughs> but uh, if you blew it up, then you were going to have to go next door to the pizza place and blow up their toilet uh, because that was the only one. <clears throat> and I remember uh, I went in to use the bathroom at this St. Augustine local, and there was like already two other people waiting in line by the time I came out. And I mean, I was just taking them, you know, a number one or whatever I was doing. And I walk out, and the first thing that the guy says to me standing behind me goes, Please tell me, for the love of God, you did not just blow it up. And I'm like, no, I didn't. He's like, oh, thank God, dude. And he, like, slams that door shut and locks it. And he's in there for, like, five to ten minutes or something like that doing his thing. And I'm like, oh, God. Like, <laughs> it's it's bad, too, because it's not a huge local. And it, it can just blow up the whole place if you catch my drift. <laughs> so, let you guys, let me know in the comments. Do you have any local restroom stories, whether it's someone having too fat of an ass to actually sit down on the toilet seat because they'll break it and they'll like flood the whole toilet, or like, do you guys not even have a toilet at your locals? Uh, do you guys even go to locals, or, you know, do you take the pregame shit at home and hope to God that, you know, nature doesn't call while you're at locals, or something? So, let me know what you guys think. This is more of a comedic video. Don't take it too seriously. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Probably doing YouTuber impersonations because I kind of want to do that. So thank you guys for watching as always, and oh god, subscribe to the toilet. <laughs>